Welcome to Interior Institute's Introduction to Project Risk Analysis Part 8, Risk Assignment, the Basics. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how we can assign risk from our risk register to our project. You may have heard it as being either risk events, uh, critical risk, risk drivers, risk factors. But again, it's basically taking the probability and impact of a risk and assigning it either to the project schedule, it could be cost, and also uh, resources. So if you look in a Risky Project, we have a, a software development schedule here, multiple phases, construction. We have some resources that are associated, that have been assigned to various activities with costs. <clears throat> we don't have any fixed costs in this one, so it's all the costs are being resource driven, so again, it's all they will. The risk will be time dependent costs. Now, in the risk view, go to the risk register. We've entered in one risk. It's called newer updated requirements, which is really a uh, very common one of the most common risks that are in a software project. And to assign it to an activity, uh, we go to open up the risk and go to the assign to tasks or resources. And in this view, it will list all of the activities and so if we wanted to, or I could, I could type in the task ID. So we're just going to assign it to this an arbitrary activity. What we have to do is we have to give it a chance that will occur, an outcome type, a relative delay, and the outcome. In this case, we're going to give it 20%. And once we've done that, we, <coughs> we click that. Now we might add another one, and I'll just quickly show you on the, on the resources. Uh, resource availability. And the same thing, we can double click on that, go to there, and we can actually select. And, and perhaps our product analyst is not going to be, he might be, avail he might be working on another uh, project, and we think that there's going to be a 35% chance of that occurring. And if it occurs, we're going to have a relative delay, but this is actually going to have a, a bigger effect. It's going to delay all of the activities that this product analyst is ass assigned to uh, by 50% if, if he's not available due to other commitments. So what we've done is we've been able to assign uh, risk to uh, the project schedule and duration, and we've also shown how we can assign it to resources. Now, uh, one of the things that's new to version 6, that I'm just going to quickly show, is that <coughs> we have uh, the drag and drop risk, and this would allow us, this allows us to quickly <coughs> assign a single risk to many activities. Now I'm going to select the construction and say that there's a new or updated requirements and I'm going to drag that risk over to the construction and it's going to assign this risk to all of the activities on the construction. Now one of the things I'm going to say <coughs> is this, it, it was, it's picked up the chance that we've had before that there's a 50% chance of a relative delay. Uh, so the existing risk assignment, it picks that up. And we can just click OK. And that risk now has been assigned, and we, it shows us right here that there's a risk assignment that's been assigned to all of those activities. So this is a quick way to take risks that you've got in your risk register, go to the project schedule, uh, go to this view, or you can do it from the schedule or the risk register, and assign that risk. Well, typically what we're doing is we're assigning the risk with a probability that will occur, an 
outcome. What's the outcome type? It could be uh, cost or schedule. It could be actually non-cost or schedule. And the impact of that is if, if, it's, a, if it's a schedule, then it's going to be uh, the percent or fixed amount that it will impact it. If it's a cost, it could be, again, a relative cost, a percentage of the, of the cost, or it could be a fixed amount. And once we do that, we can calculate. <coughs> and we can go down and take a quick look and see how this risk risks have affected the project schedule.